don't don't stress hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sopo and I am filming another sit down video for you today sitting in my dressing room on the carpet having 15 minutes long until I have to run literally to work but let's make this because I really want to share those few items which I which are gathered around me um, with you um, so the video is gonna be about August favorites. I know we are almost at the end of September, so it's pretty late with this video, but um, there has been a few items which I got in August and have been loving from the very first second, also a few items which I've used uh, throughout August. So um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to share it with you. Hope you love this video, hope you like generally my channel and whatever you're seeing here. If you do, please, please, please like and subscribe. I know it sounds like begging, but that's what YouTube is about, like the audience and talking and communicating with one another. So. Um, if you are coming here regularly and checking it out throughout the link on Instagram or Facebook or I don't know wherever you find uh, this video it would mean a lot lot if you would just join and stay on board. I'm filming two times a week mostly um, but at least one time a week. Um, the videos are about like vlog style videos but mostly as well sit down videos about um, makeup, um, healthy lifestyle, food, luxury items, handbags, shoes and anything really, whatever <laughs> comes to my mind. So if there is anything particular you would want to see, please leave in the comment section and I'm gonna film it for you. So very first item which I wanted to talk about and I've been loving throughout August is my Chanel boy bag. This bad boy doesn't really get a lot of views, sadly. Um, the only reason is this chain strap which usually slides down on my shoulder and gets pretty uncomfortable but I really pushed myself in August to use this a bit more because this has been a month at work where I had to carry quite a bit of items and the big positive thing about this um, handbag here is that it really uh, can contain quite a bit because it is not like leather lined and has like canvas lining it allows you to stretch it a bit more than usual also it is bigger than the medium Chanel classic flap. This one is the old medium size as you can see but this one still fits a lot more than the um, classic flap because of the double flap there you don't really have the possibility to really uh, fill it up to the top even though from outside they look pretty similar in, in size. Um, also this one gives you possibility to wear crossbody uh, more comfortably than the classic flap. Classic flap ends up on really short like this mid uh, rib area. Um, I don't mind that but not, I know that a lot of people find it really awkward especially if they are taller. I am petted so for me it works. Um, anyhow, this one has been with me most of the days and I really really loved it. One day I left this handbag with the chain like underneath, like lying like that. And I usually care very lot about my handbags, but this day I don't know if I was stressed or I don't know what was happening. Um, I really didn't pay attention and you can see this handbag got a bit state like it got an indentation in here which is not really coming off. Um, this annoys me a bit. It's not bad, but this handbag has been looking pristine um, last two years and all. this is the first indentation which I saw on it. But, well, that's what the items are um, there for, to be used, to be loved. Um, I was still proud that it didn't have any wear and tear, even on the corners. It looks really, really good, um, but yeah. Just wanted to share that with you in case you have this handbag to be a bit cautious with chain especially not to put it underneath and just leave it like that because that can definitely leave an indentation. To say with the fashion items, the second thing which I've been loving is my um actually combi combo cohort duos. I think that's what it is called. So <laughs> um this one particularly is from um H&M, so it doesn't have to be really expensive. Um, this one is in neat um, material, neat, neat texture, um, and um, as you can see, this one is very short shorts, but goes up on high waist area, which I really love, and this one is crop top. Uh, this paired with my new white trainers or some sandals gives such a transitional season vibe still hot but you have this knit which still keeps you cozy also to wear this at home you feel like chic and lovely um, and also 
um, yeah, I don't know, it keeps you very very comfortable but as well cozy at the same time. I have been really loving this and have been looking for something similar um, but which doesn't cost fortune as well because those items are more like really basic in my opinion and they have to serve like more lounge, loungewear um, purpose. So I wear them outdoors as well but I wear them very lot at home so I've been loving that. I wanted to mention it here by as well. And the third um, fashion item for this month's favorite is my orange sandals. Guys, I got this one um, like the week when I was going on a holiday with Falco to Austria, South Germany. And it was very funny because I got this and one week out of two, it was not really two weeks, full weeks, but a um, few days uh, have been raining so tough that I could not really wear it, I was so pissed. Um, but after that I've worn it so, so much, you can see on the back side, that's not really pretty side, but um, the one negative side, I know that I'm talking about favorites here, but one negative side of this um, sandals is that it is pressed leather that's what they told me at least and you can see the wear and tear right away it just gets very very thin even after a few times of wear so i have to bring this to kabla and see what they can do with it i'm always scared when bringing such expensive shoes to the cobblers because the cobblers which i'm visiting are not very high end <laughs> so to say they are like uh, working on a very very um, cheap shoes and I'm always scared that they're gonna destroy it or like change the look of it or get scuffs um, I don't even know what you could do <laughs> if such thing happened um, so I've been hesitating with that but I really have to find some solution anyhow um, one way or another this one has been definitely my favorite it's so comfortable so chic so recognizable love this age on the front and the leather is so smooth this one has costed fortune, but I don't really regret it because I think it is something very special and I don't have many shoes which are so expensive, so I thought like the splurge was worth it. Um, especially it was our fifth year anniversary and I wanted to um, like buy something for myself. So yeah. I'm um, talking about the anniversary and um, the gifts. I got this. I got a ring. From Falgo, a memorial ring uh, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna show all the items in a cutout with close up, which is absolutely beautiful. It is sort of a tennis ring type style, but has one spot where it just ties up together um, and it just wears very very beautifully together with my engagement ring i've been dreaming of having this combo very very long now i actually was regretting that i got this cartier uh, love ring as a wedding band um because this engagement ring worn alone was super dandy and then i was having these two cartier rings which are very chunky and very dominant on the fingers so i really wanted to balance it out together with uh, such like um, duo like combo sets and I've been keeping such pictures on my Pinterest pinned and I was very very happy that Falco got this for me because I think it is very very beautiful together actually in the beginning I was dreaming of having a more thinner band um, but um, after I wore it a few times I fell in love I was in the beginning thinking like should we return this and get like more thinner one which would align beautifully because you can see when worn together um, there is a bit like space in between them and I was like oh is this beautiful is this not but after wearing it a few times i really fell in love and just kept it like that so yeah here we go the next item which i could mention easily in my every single um, monthly favorite is my Louis Vuitton agenda i've made two videos uh, on this i'm gonna link it somewhere here and i've been loving it so much that i won't talk about it very a lot i've been carrying it every day to work have been using it for planning um for private and work related purposes, um, even the video ideas or making lists or um, payments, financial planning, etc. etc. So, this one is a definite favorite of entire year and has been worth of every penny, even though it's super expensive. I know this is a lifetime piece and I don't regret it buying it at all. So, I just have a few makeup items here with me. The first one is by Terry CC Brightening Serum. I got this one um, because I've been hearing it 
almost in every single video from <laughs> uh, Lydia Ellis Millen and I've been following her many many years now I have been loving her vibe and watching her I've been trusting her as well but somehow I never really came to buying this one um, I was like do I use really primer in my makeup like do I really need it um, and I got this one and I'm so happy that I did this gives such a plumping glow as a base the days when I'm using this I don't use my normal moisturizer I just directly apply this it moisturizes but also gives underneath glow it also is a CC brightening ser serum which is wonderful for the days when you have spots and I definitely have been having spots recently I was retelling this in my other videos when I talked about healthy skin and glowy skin and post pill acne related topics um, so yeah this one has been in my collection since August exactly and I've been using this like almost every single day I just pump two times on my palm and directly apply on the face in the beginning I was as well scared um, because of the color because this one is in apricot color they have the brighter version and the darker version um, but I went for this one uh, this one doesn't really leave a color on your face because it's like blends in very beautifully in your uh, skin um, as you usually wear as well half tone darker uh, foundation or powder or something like that it is not a problem at all just to say that because maybe some others have as well like thoughts um, if it's gonna work on a pale skin I am very very pale and it's been working pretty fine as for the blushes yeah uh, I have been loving two blushes I've talked so much about the Ilia um, multi pigment color haze multi usage uh, lip and cheek um, creamy blush um, so I won't talk about it very lot this one is absolutely pigmented beautiful beautiful thing uh, but I'm gonna mention especially here this one I, I pulled this out recently because uh, I just noticed it on my vanity and I thought like why well, I'm not using this um, this one I got by my from my girlfriend she just gifted it to me a few months ago when I visited her in Berlin this one is not that pigmented but if you press it long enough you definitely see that it has a color it has beautiful beautiful blush pink color and being pale I think that this is the color which suits my skin the most the most also it has possibility for building up so the days when you don't want to go over the board with makeup i think this one is perfect it comes with such tiny brush this one is not really good for applying it has a little mirror i don't really see anything here but yeah just for looking on particular spots maybe it's good as well this is absolutely adorable and what i have to mention here is that it smells divine I don't really know what they put inside but it is divine really um, I would buy this just for the smell to be very honest but the product is good as well so the two last items which I have over here is from Charlotte Tilbury the one is the lip cheat and another is brow lift this one I have been using religiously I can really say that there has not been a single day even the days when I have not worn makeup I have been using the brow lift I got so hooked up with correcting my brows or filling it in I thought before like a few years ago I was never doing anything with my brows and I thought it was looking perfect because I have quite a, quite thick not very thick but like normal thick brows but once I started using the brow pencils or brow gels they got hooked up and I feel like that it is not looking good if I don't add this up uh, this one is in color lift I think shade lift uh, and it is brilliant on the one side you have such brush which helps you brush it up and I really love this like longer tip uh, of this um, pencil I've been having those ones which which are very thin on the top and they have not worked that perfect as this one this one helps you define it as well um, if you want to like thicken it up but also fill it in um, the product is amazing you really see that it is very very pigmented applies very beautifully it doesn't wash off so if you really want to lock in it lock it in you can use the brow gel on the top of it but it's not really needed I've been using this on days when it has been raining and there has never been smudging going on on my face as for the lip cheat, I have not used this every single day, but it is my absolute favorite. And I think I will be buying many other colors. I will never live without a lip liner anymore. Uh, there are days, obviously, when I want the lips to look as neutral as possible, so I don't do anything. But this one is perfect when you want to like 
size your lips up you can line it a bit over in the beginning i was very cautious and just lining on top of it but uh, then afterwards i got a bit more daring and like lined it a bit up then you can use some lip gloss or other lipstick and it makes your lips look a lot more voluminous this one is in color super size me very pigmented very creamy very beautiful it just helps you as well not only to line but also use it as a, as a lipstick you can fill it up completely and it looks gorgeous divine so yeah as told this one fits my lip color naturally so i will definitely be buying other colors as well that is it guys for my video today i hope you loved watching stay on board and see you next time